Hello everyone, Peter here, Piotr Fisner. Guys, so you remember the white, um, white controller I was doing, yes? White controller, uh, I don't remember if this was the 6 to 9 or this one, or the 3930, that will be probably that one, but anyways, it's irrelevant because I've got two similar controllers. So there was an issue with the analog one, yes, drifting. I've replaced it with a new one, okay? There was a problem with uh, something else and I don't remember the second issue. I fixed that, okay? Oh, with a, with a sync button, yes? So with a sync button, I fixed that. Okay, so now you would say, you know, happy days, customer is happy. I gave it for a test to the customer and well, it turns out that the uh, issue is resolved for real but it turns out that the, uh, there is an additional issue okay which i don't know why i haven't noticed i don't know to be true i've got no idea why but it was so the trigger on the left hand side was uh was triggering okay when i was giving it to customer but sometimes it was making not this one, this one. It was, oh, here, you see? It, it just go and you can, you can lift it up because it's broken. So I've replaced it, yes? I've replaced it, the whole chassis I gave to the customer, including the buttons, the magnets, including the, um, the cables, yes, that, that's all in. So I gave it to the customer and, and I said, you know, like, uh, before giving it, yes, I will just give it a shot, yes, before giving, yes. So I, I you know, I was happy that they replaced all this yesterday. And I was really happy, super happy, yes. Oh, okay, fine. I've put, I've assembled everything, you know, I've put everything, I'll show you right here. Yes, and I went on a test, and in the test, guess what? Another issue. So, and another issue is I'll show you here, and we'll let's switch to the scope. You see this component? It's a whole effect, whole as a H A double L. Yes, whole effect sensor. This is a an SMD component. Yes, surface mounted component uh, and um, this is a thing which you know when you've got a power coming in then what's happening the when you measure on the second side when you take closer magnet to it like you get in the trigger it will change the voltage so on the other side was fine yes it the voltage was dropping and it was Okay, yes. Whereas on this faulty one, on this particular which one I'm showing you, uh, this one turns out that the problem exists. But not on this one which you see, but on this which I've got here on the desk. So I need to test one of those uh, which I have here, spare, yes, spare ones, like this one. I need to test and if the test will be fine, um, then I'll res let's desolder it, yes. And I'll give the good whole sensor to the customer. I did want to uh, show this video, it's a short video, but I did want to show you this video because uh, sometimes you see that the trigger is not working. So that can be the culprit for this, yes. So you've got something to blame, that's that, this component. And on one of those two pins at the bottom, you will have, um, you will have, let me grab something to show you. Okay, it's here. Okay, so on this one, it will be a stable current when you put closer your magnet, then that's mean that's not the one, yes? If on the second one you will put the magnet closer to it the current will change but it should get lower rather than higher on the um, 
uh, on the volts yes so if you get DC volts and you're checking it you will know that it's it's dropping yes so then what's happening is when you compare it both you will know the one which is dropping lower that's the one which is going okay yes which is working okay whereas if it either doesn't go uh, you shut up and if it's either not dropping or it's raising then that's mean that's the culprit yes so that's what I wanted to show you I don't I don't want I won't go through the um, all the recording of it because that's just soldering one single component so you know no no big deal uh, and especially that I've got open everything unfortunate is that uh, I thought I've got a one fold and second, yes, because we knew about the um, about the analog, yes, joystick. Okay, that's a that's no problem. Then I knew about the uh, connection, yes, sensor, the sync button. Okay, fix that. Uh, that one was fixed. <laughs> then the chassis broken, yes. So you've seen on the video where I recorded with 3DS. Uh, the 3DS which had a new um, new charging port yes because we we can't get the old version Nintendo 3DS charging ports nowadays one guy was selling for 34 pounds I think on eBay that nuts so uh, yeah I won't be paying 34 pounds so I've decided okay no problem I will just you know like uh, I will put the new 3ds and um, port that's quite similar i was trying to grind it but it was too difficult so i took my uh, soldering iron i wiped as much as i could it's still you know popping out a bit uh, but unfortunately you know it's not perfect yes so <clears throat> i've said to, to the customer i'll be keep looking and it's fully functional you can use it or your uh, your kids can look uh, use it but unfortunately you know it is what it is but anyway going back to the to the stuff here so the plan is I'll use my other boards like you see here the one under the microscope I will check which whole sensor is working fine and I'll remove it yes with uh, with my uh, stuff here and then I will uh, remove this culprit here on the on the uh, white controller wireless controller and then I'll replace it with this good working one yes unfortunately that's the case you know and um, we can't uh, cure it all sometimes there are four faults which is beyond the repair cost that's why I'm saying guys if we can subscribe I can use these funds to buy more faulty stuff and have these faulty stuff you know this faulty stuff here um, as my buffer because I know I can deliver the work, yes? Uh, whereas I know if I won't have spares, which we sometimes can't buy or we have to wait from China to arrive, then it's a bit, you know, uh, unfair with you. So that's why I said, if we can subscribe, I can use these funds to um, not only do the work, but I can as well buy this, this stuff, yes? So yeah if, if we will have more of those spurs then th those unfixable things will be possible to fix yes will be still affordable to fix and um, and that's it guys that's it so you see it's worth to subscribe to the monthly membership of 10 pounds uh, with book repair online in dot co dot uk uh, with our link you know the personal it link and then save up in your e-wallet every month 10 pounds when the Inte team will launch you will have proper e-wallet as well over there and you will be helping with right to repair so yeah yeah exactly that that's what it is you know uh, hopefully the video is showing you what to do when your whole sensor is faulty hopefully you see how to resolve this issue but if you can't solder SMD components don't do it because I'm going on a bed you'll destroy something so if you want to avoid trouble and and uh, don't damage something if you never soldered the SMD components 
either try on some faulty electronics you know which you can afford to lose or open everything and bring to me let's say and I can just make the soldering for you yes uh, because then uh, at least you can put it back together and you can have it working again yes so that's the case and um, what else well that's it if you can please like please subscribe uh, and see you in the next video bye bye